Welcome to Quick Pro, your friendly ally to learn tally. He I am Sunil, a tally learner at Quick Pro. At Quick Pro, I discovered how to learn tally the easy and quick way. Before joining Quick Pro, I did not even know how to open tally. I was also scared of accounts. Now I can confidently use tally not just to write accounts. I can also easily generate various reports correctly and instantly. Various types of financial, stock and payroll reports. For myself, my seniors, my auditor, my banker, my tax and other authorities. This is an actual recording of my tally learning. I sincerely wish all you tally learners can benefit from my quick pro story. This session about company creation in tally will take an hour. It consists of various multimedia sessions mixed with revision quizzes. To go further, keep solving each quiz. Based on your final quiz course, you can also win a quick pro scholarship for the complete course of tally ERP 9. Sir, my name is Krishna Prasad. I am working for My Products Immigration Consultants as a executive sales. And uh, I have been asked to take up the job of uh, uh, maintaining the petty cash expense, uh, the day-to-day -day account things. Prior to joining this Tally Quick Pro course, uh, have you operated Tally software? Uh, yes, I have operated Tally software. Uh, so what is the Yes, I have been into many uh, like classes, maybe into uh, these are into workshops. 
that's all right. Uh, what did happen to you know? Uh, like uh, most of the times we need to sit uh, idly and we have to listen that. And sometimes to be very honest, we feel drowsy and all. Uh, but it didn't happen over here because it was quite interactive. Uh, the instructor was uh, like very much communicating. That I'd like to talk about it. And I'm looking forward to that. Hi sir, this is Tejas Vini. I'm, I'm from SGR College and I'm a commerce student, BA ECS. My experience about, about Tally was awesome. Uh, I, the first day itself when I started learning Tally, I, I loved it. Yeah, Tally Quick Pro, I loved it. So now, now when I learn many things, I'm very excited to use it. So if I get any field or uh, any field to apply it or to do it, every, uh, how much I learn to my best extent, I think I can do it. Sir, I feel joining Tally. I have learnt a lot, sir. And when I can help my uh, fathers and business. Click on the Tally icon, Tally 9 icon. And which type of screen it is? Company info. Company info. Full form is company information. Okay. Here, which options are highlighted here? Create company. Create company. Another is? Backup. Backup. Restore. Restore. Quit. Quit. Yes, select company is activated or not? No. It's not activated. No. When it gets highlighted, when you create a new company. Okay. So first, press enter. Now use mouse for this. Use this arrow keys on the keyboard and this enter key. Enter it. First, what is here now? Directory. Okay. Directly. What is written here? D drive. Means our tally data is stored in D drive. D drive. Okay. Press enter. Here you have to give your name. Whose name? My name. You can give your name also or company name also. Okay. If you are handling the accounts of the company, you are main responsible person, you can write your name also here. Okay. So write your name here. Press enter. By default, what name is coming? Same name. So name Same name. Type. So, but if company wants to change that name, you can change this name also. Okay. See, you are the responsible person. If company wants here their name only. That means I am at the entrance. That's why I am responsible. Yeah. So you can give your. It's not. Means you can give your name also. Company names also. So, mailing name if company wants to change here, they want to give their name only. Mm -hmm. Suppose you want to give your other than knowledge company. You can give here that Aditya knowledge. What is the use of this mailing name? Means when you take a printout of the reports, what are the financial reports of the company? Like the balance sheet and profit and loss account. Any reports you take a printout, not your name. The mailing name will come in the printout. That is company name. Company name it will come. Either you give company name or your name only. This will come in the printout. Okay. Here, yeah. next, you can give your give another name. I show you company, later. Company name is Enter. Now here you have to write down the address of the company, not yours. Okay. How many lines you want, you can use any oh, lines. Okay, there is no difference. There no. is no limit to number of no. lines. How many lines you want, you can take it. See, okay. if I press enter, you can keep on typing. Okay. okay, but in one line there should be 51. Maximum 51 characters. Maximum 51 characters should be there. Okay. Including uh, gaps. Everything. Total 51 it will accept. Okay. okay. Here, you have to select. List of the country, in which country you are. Which country you are now? We are in India. You are in India only. So you have to select 
India. Here what currency is coming in India? Which currency we use? Rupees. So here currency symbol is coming? Rupees. If I change here Malaysia, so what happens to the currency symbol? It gets changed. Or otherwise if I select Singapore, it also gets currency symbol will come. So in these countries, currency is working. So select India, you have to select the state. Which state you are? Karnataka. Uh, so press K only, you can go there okay. and use this arrow keys, enter. Write on the pen code. Enter. Write on the telephone number of the company. And character's limit is there for this? No. Enter. Enter. Email address, if company is having email ID, you have to write that. Company is email ID. Company is email ID. Now if company is having given you a personal email, that email ID for that, you can give that to for office use. So it is rupees only. And there are what is coming here? Type of company. So how many types of companies you can create it? How many types? It's of two types. Okay. Accounts only and accounts with inventory. Inventory, okay. inventory means stock. Stock. Simple accounts only means payment receipts only you can do. Accounts only with inventory means you can get the stock information also the time. Okay. So first we do with Accounts only. Enter. What is the financial year? When it starts? April. First April. Calendar year your starts from? No. Our company is financial year. Ah, it starts from first April. Yes. Otherwise new year starts from first January. Jan. Companies it starts from first April. Right now change it now. What is that? It is 2010 now. By default, what is coming here? 1-4-2010. Suppose your company is starting from October month. So you will you take here 1-4-2010. Books of the account. Company yeah, you just started. open a new company in October month. Okay. Each company is not started in uh, April month only. If you are opening a new company. Oh, this is uh, the opening date. Okay. Opening date. Then you start recording your okay. interest transactions. Uh. Financial year is first. Financial year is first. Okay. This is the difference. Okay. So, now today I am starting. So, you have to, suppose you are writing the entries today only. So, you can give that date only. Today's date. Hmm. And then, carry one password where we use to give the protection to our company only. Okay. If you want to do that, you can give it. You want to give? Yeah. We read the first one. Use security control. This is means you are giving the responsibilities to other people. For this purpose, you want to use. For to you, I am giving different responsibilities to other person. I am giving different responsibilities. For that, we can use security control for that. Okay, right now give it no, no use of it, enter it.